The Challenge of the Yukon. It's King, swiftest and strongest lead dog of the North Country, blazing the trail for Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police in his relentless pursuit of lawbreakers. On King! On, you huskies! Gold. Gold discovered in the Yukon. A stampede to the Klondike in the greedy race for riches. Now back to the days of the gold rush, when Sergeant Preston and his wonder dog, King, battled through storm and snow to preserve law and order as they met the challenge of the Yukon. They called him Balmy Bill. He was old and harmless and as simple as a child. And the only thing that mattered to him was his old dog, Barnaby, who followed him about in the Silver Dollar Cafe where Bill swept the floor and cleaned the cuspidors in exchange for his board and room. Bill had been successful once, but they said he got lost in a Yukon blizzard, and after that, his mind went blank. Barnaby had brought him home. But that was long ago when the dog was young and strong. Now, Barnaby was happy to doze beside the stove during the evenings while Bill sat nearby watching the prospectors in the cafe. Hello there, Bill. How are you tonight? Oh, hello. How's old Barnaby these days, Bill? Well, oh, he's, he's just the same. It's getting colder out. You better see that that stove keeps burning. Oh, I will. I always keep it going. Say, there's Dan Beecher and Bob over at that table. Come on, they're starting to play poker. Let's get in the game. Well, uh, see you later, Bill. Take care of Barnaby. Oh, I will. I sure hope my luck holds out tonight. We could use the money. Yeah, I'm getting pretty low myself. Well, deal him, Bob. Well, I feel lucky tonight, boys, so watch out. Remember what happened the last time you said that? Hello, boys. Wait for us, boys. Hey, get a couple of chairs. Yeah, sit over here. Thanks. Say, Bob, I hear you planning to leave us. Yeah, I'm going back to the States again. Yes, I'm buying him out. I think it's a dirty trick, leave me. After we've been partners for so many years. Well, if you had any sense, you'd come with me, Dan. You're rich enough now. Not quite, Bob. That claim of ours is too good to give up yet. Yeah. I'll get to the States just about the time you go broke. And then you'll be sorry you were in such a rush. <laughs> I sure wish Pete and I had a claim instead of working in the bank. <laughs> Maybe if you'd save your money and not gamble so darn much, Jed, you and Pete could buy a gold claim. Yeah, yeah. Don't you worry, Dan. We're going to take some of that hard-earned gold of yours away from you right now. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what you're saying. Right. Like oh, right. All right, deal them out, boys. I swear. It was almost morning when Pete Holt and Jed Wilson got back to their small cabin. They both looked glum as they undressed for bed. Well, Bob sure cleaned us out tonight. He was lucky, that's all. Uh, lucky or not, it sure puts us in a bad spot. When Jameson comes home from his trip and finds out we borrowed a few thousand from his bank, we're going to be in a mess. He won't be back for a week. Well, what are we going to do? Go out and pick gold nuggets off the spruce trees to get it back? We'll get it back. We can't be unlucky all the time. You mean we're going to take more money from the bank? What else can we do? You'd rather go to jail? But, Pete, we're in way over our heads now. It's our only chance, Jed. If we're caught now, we go to jail for grand larceny anyway. Our luck will change. It has to. I wish we'd never started this. Don't waste your time wishing. Maybe tomorrow night the picture will change. You've said that every day for two weeks. Sergeant Preston of the Northwest Mounted Police stopped his dog team in front of Dan's cabin the following morning. With his big dog, King, beside him, the Mountie started for the door just as Dan opened it and came out of the cabin carrying a dish of food. Why, hello there, Preston. How are you? I'm fine, Dan. I heard Bob was leaving the Yukon soon. Is that right? Yep, yeah, that's right. I'm buying out his share of a gold claim. He's leaving about a week. Oh, I'm sorry to hear it. I, uh... Thought I'd better stop and say goodbye, but if he's going to be here a week, I'll see plenty of him before he goes. Sure you will. Say, do you know Bessie had two fine pups? No, I didn't. That's what the food's for? Yeah. Come on back and see him. All right. Just going to feed her. They're the best pups she ever had. <laughs> Good for old Bessie. <laughs> no, King, you stay here, boy. Well, here we are. <clears throat> oh, 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 oh. Hold your horses, old girl. I'm coming. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh, you're hungry, aren't you? Hey. Here's Sergeant Preston. Look at your youngins. Uh, eat your breakfast. <laughs> I'd better close this door. Hello, little fellas. Say, these are fine pups, Dan. They sure are. I don't think there's anything cuter than a Malamute pup. 
Just little balls of fur. This one's a beauty. You know, people might find sled dogs someday. There you go, little fella. Get back there with your brother. <laughs> well, I have to be careful to keep this door shut. Those pups are getting lively. Had your breakfast yet? I have, but Bob's still sleeping. <laughs> he was a heavy winner at the Silver Dollar last night. He didn't get home until during their morning. Oh. <laughs> Say, by the way, I'm giving a big farewell party for him the night before he leaves. Our cabin is too small, so... Oh. Unchain! Unchain! Why, yes, I'll be back by then. This is my last trip with the dog team. The snow's just about gone, and I'll be on horseback. That means less work for King, doesn't it? Not much, Dan. He runs along with me. I couldn't do without him. <laughs> Balmy Bill sat in the doorway, staring off into space. <clears throat> Thanks a lot. All right, King, let's go, boys. Unchain! Unchain! It was late the next afternoon when Pete Holt and Jed Wilson walked toward the Silver Dollar Cafe. The sun had melted away the last of the snow, and the door of the cafe was open. Balmy Bill sat in the doorway, staring off into space. Nobody will be in the Silver Dollar yet. We can talk better there. There's old Balmy Bill. Hey, what's wrong with him? What? It's my dog. It's, it's Balmy Bill. Where is he? Huh? Where is he? Why, he's gone. Did he run away or something? Oh, no, no. Barnaby would never run away. Well, what happened to him? Say, he... He died. Died? Yeah. What's the matter? My... My dog. It's, it's Barnaby. Where is he? Huh? Why, why, he's gone. Did he run away or something? Oh, no, no. Barnaby would never run away. Well, what happened to him? Say, he... He died. Died? Yeah. He, he just didn't wake up. Well, for Pete's sake, he was old enough to die. So wonder he lived this long. But he, he was all mine. I could pet him and talk to him. He, he followed me around. Ah, uh, you can get another dog. You ought to get yourself a nice little pup. A, a nice little pup? Oh, yes, yes, that would be fine. A little pup, Bill. Sometimes. Hey, I want to talk to you. I'm coming. A nice little puppy. There's a table off in the corner. If anyone comes in, they won't bother us. Hello, boys. Hi, Barney. We'll order something later. We want to talk a while. All right. Let's sit here. Yeah. We're going to play. We can't waste time. Well, maybe we'll get you a pup, Bill. Sometime. Hey, I'm we'll... I want to talk to you. I'm coming. A nice little puppy. There's a table off in the corner. If anyone comes in, they won't bother us. Hello, boys. Hi, Barney. We'll order something later. We want to talk a while. All right. Let's sit here. Yeah. We going to play again tonight? Are you crazy? Of course we're going to play. Our luck started to change last night. We'd be crazy not to take advantage of it. From now on, Jed, we're going to clean up. We'll take last night's winnings and some more from the bank for a backlog. Hello, Bill. Hey, quiet. There's Dan Beecher coming over here. Hello, Dan. Hi, hello, boys. Hello, Dan. Just dropped in to see if there's any Saturday to pay Bob off for his share of my claims. Hey, that's right. You're buying him out, aren't you? Yep. It'll sure put a hole in my bank account, <laughs> but I figure the claim's worth it. You better put that money away somewhere. Bob likes to gamble. If he brings it with him Saturday night, he probably won't have it when he leaves on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I won't. I'll have to get some money out of the bank Saturday to pay Bob off for his share of my claims. Hey, that's right. You're buying him out, aren't you? Yep. It'll sure put a hole in my bank account, <laughs> but I figure the claim's worth it. You better put that money away somewhere. Bob likes to gamble. If he brings it with him Saturday night, he probably won't have it when he leaves on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I won't let him bring it here. And from what I hear about you two, uh, you could profit some from that same advice. Leave your own money home for change. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're right, Dan. Maybe you're right. Saturday morning, Pete and Jed looked worried as they opened the bank for the business of the day. Well, we're in for it now. You and your fancy ideas of getting our money back. Yeah, it was rotten luck. I was going good last night at first. Then it all went bluey. I don't see why you had to play Pharaoh. That really took you. My luck was bad right from the beginning. Well, there's no use crying about it. We got to figure something out. There's just nothing to do. <coughs> to see if you've got that puppy yet. Puppy? 
What puppy? Hey, the little soft puppy for me to have and pet. The one that you was going to get for me and be all mine. I huh? didn't promise to get you a dog. Well, he said he would. Who, Jed? I didn't hear him say anything about getting you one. You misunderstood me, Bill. I said you should have one, a pup. Yes, that's what I want, a puppy, like you said. Just a little one that'll be all mine. Like Barnaby, only little maybe, and he'd be... Yeah, I know, he'd be all yours. Yes, he'd be all mine. Well, we don't keep him in banks. Jed? I didn't hear him say anything about getting you one. You misunderstood me, Bill. I said you should have one, a pup. Yes, that's what I want, a puppy, like you said. Just a little one that'll be all mine. Like Barnaby, only little maybe, and he'd be... Yeah, I know, he'd be all yours. Yes, he'd be all mine. Well, we don't keep him in banks. We're out of them today. Here comes a customer, Bill, you better go. But if you do get me one, I'll sweep your floor. All I'll right, all right, I'll see you some other time. Well, hello, Bill. Hello. How are you, Dan? Getting ready for the party tonight? Sure. You and Jed are coming, aren't you? We wouldn't miss it. Well, I've got to get that money for Bob today. Pay him off from a claim. Sure, Dan. How much do you want? Well, I got my check here. It's ten thousand dollars. Wow. Bob can sure have fun with all of that. Well, he's taking more than that out of that gold claim himself. I figure it's worth that much. Hasn't shown much sign of giving out. I'll get the money for you. What time's your party start, Dan? I started my bank account. That's why I put it all in that bag. I figured that's what you'd do. Well, get there early, boys. Right. And you know us. We'll be the first ones there and the last to leave. This bank's closed on Sunday, you know. See you at night. I wish somebody was giving us $10,000. Jed, I got an idea. What? Go on over and bring Balmy Bill back here right now. Balmy Bill? What for? Hurry up and get him. You'll find out what for after you bring him back here. Hello, Bill. He, he said you wanted to see me. If, if somebody was giving us $10,000 yet. I got an idea. What? Go on over and bring Balmy Bill back here right now. Balmy Bill? What for? Hurry up and get him. You'll find out what for after you bring him back here. Hello, Bill. He, he said you wanted to see me. Have, have you got the puppy? I told you he didn't have the puppy. No, I haven't, Bill. But uh, maybe I'll get you one. You will? Oh, good. Will he be a little one, a soft one that I can get? Yeah, any kind you want. But you'll have to do something for us first. Oh, I will. I'll do anything. I'll sweep your floors. I'll... What, what color will it be? Make you want. Be the man who owns Bessie? Bessie. That's Dan's dog, Pete. Yeah, yeah. He's the one. Sure. I I know where he lives. He brought Bessie to the Silver Dollar once, and he let me watch her for him. And then I saw him another time with Bessie going into the cabin the way out on the trail. That's a cabin. A dollar. He, he's, he's he the man who owns Bessie? Bessie. That's Dan's dog, Pete. Yeah, yeah. He's the one. Sure. I, I know where he lives. He brought Bessie to the Silver Dollar once, and he let me watch her for him. And then I saw him another time with Bessie going into the cabin the way out on the trail. That's a cabin. <laughs> North on the trail. Well, tonight, I want you to go to his cabin and get something for me. Sure, I'll, I'll get it. Now, listen. Nobody will be in the cabin. If the door's locked, you'll have to break in the window. Pete, you mean you're going to ask Bill? Quiet, Jed. I don't think the door will be locked. Then you go inside and find the big wood box beside the stove. The wood box where they keep wood for the stove? That's right. Like yours beside the stove at the Silver Dollar. Yes, yes, I know. Move the box aside and you'll find a trap door. It's in the floor and up <coughs> to Ridge Rock. You know where that is? Oh, yes, but I could bring it here to the bank. I don't yes. want you to bring it here. If you do, I won't give you the puppy. Oh, then I won't. I, I want a puppy. A nice little one that I can Now, listen to me. You know where Ridge Rock is? Oh, yes, yes. It, it's that big rock up on the mountain trail. You you can look away down at the river. You know, I used to go up there with Barnaby. Barnaby liked now, it. All right, now listen to me. The minute you get that heavy bag, go straight to Ridge Rock and stay there. Don't come back until I get there. You understand? I... 
Are you going to bring the puppy up there? Yes, and if you're not there, you won't get the puppy. Oh, have a look away down at the river. You know, I used to go up there with Barnaby. Barnaby liked it. All right, now listen to me. The minute you get that heavy bag, go straight to Ridge Rock and stay there. Don't come back until I get there. You understand? I... Are you going to bring the puppy up there? Yes, and if you're not there, you won't get the puppy. Oh, I'll wait for you. If you're going to bring the puppy, I'll wait and wait all night. And don't tell anybody about this or you won't get the puppy. Well, I won't tell. Now, tell on us, Dan. He'll tell what we did. He won't be able to tell. Pete, what do you mean? Tommy Bill is going to fall over the cliff accidentally. It's a 300-foot drop where the river cuts through the mountains. It... Peter, that's murder. All right, I'll do the pushing if you're squeamish. We've got to get that money back in the bank before Jameson gets here Monday. Yeah, but Peter, for caught, you know... We what? won't be caught. We'll have perfect alibis. We'll be right at the Silver Dollar all night with Dan and Bob. A foot drop where the river cuts through the mountains. It... Peter, that's murder. All right, I'll do the pushing if you're squeamish. We've got to get that money back in the bank before Jameson gets here Monday. Yeah, but Peter, for caught, you know we won't be caught. We'll have perfect alibis. We'll be right at the Silver Dollar all night with Dan and Bob. We'll get there before they come tonight and stay right beside them until they leave. Nobody could possibly suspect us. Yeah, but getting the money from Bommy Bill... There's no snow, Jed. He won't leave any tracks. Now, we'll wait until late in the morning. And we'll start out on a hunting trip to the mountains, and we'll go by way of Ridge Rock. We'll get the money, get rid of Bill, and come back late tomorrow night. After the hunt. No. The heavy bag and go to Ridge Rock and Ridge Door of the Silver Dollar, just before midnight. The street was deserted as he walked to the edge of town, and no one saw him enter Dan's cabin. <laughs> <laughs> There's a trap to bag and go to this rock and wait. Move the wood box and... There it is beside the stove, just like he said. I'll put the lantern to this rock and wait and wait. And then I'll move the wood box. <laughs> There's a trap door. <laughs> To Ridge Rock. Go to Ridge Rock and wait and get the soft little puppy. Eh? What's that? Hey, that's a dog back here in the woodshed. Go hey. to Ridge Rock. To reach out and wait and get the soft little puppy. Eh? What's that? Hey, that's a dog back here in the woodshed. Hey, I wonder what kind of a dog. I wonder. Well, you, you'd fit right in my pockets. One on each side, huh? Hey, let Hey, you see? I'm I'm gonna take you with me to Ridge Rock and I'll have three puppies in. And they'll all love me and they'll all be mine too. Oh, so little. Well, you, you'd fit right in my pockets. One on each side, huh? Hey, you see? I'm I'm gonna They'll all love me, and they'll all be mine, too. Oh, no, 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 Bessie, you can't come. You stay in here. Now, don't worry, I won't hurt them. And it was broad daylight as Dan and Bob walked toward their cabin. <laughs> Go to Ridge Rock with the heavy bag and wait. These little puppies will be nice little puppies. Dawn came early in the Yukon country in the spring, and it was broad daylight as Dan and Bob walked toward their cabin after the farewell party. Bob was in a sentimental mood. Oh, the 
acquaintance be forgotten. Howdy. I wanted to get an early start today. Well, come on in, Sergeant. Have a farewell cup of coffee with Bob. Sure, come on in. We're going to have breakfast now, so as we won't have to get up so early. Yes, I will have a cup of coffee, will you? Easy, fella. <laughs> Yeah, I'd better go back and let Bessie out for a while. She hears us. I'll be with you in a minute. You start early last night. You missed the best part of the party. I wanted to get an early start today. Well, come on in, Sergeant. Have a farewell cup of coffee with Bob. Sure, come on in. We're going to have breakfast now, so as we won't have to get up so early. Yes, I will have a cup of coffee, will you? Easy, fella. <laughs> Yeah, I'd better go back and let Bessie out for a while. She hears us. I'll be with you in a minute. You start the water boiling, Bob. All right, then. Come on, King. Come on, boy. That's gone. Somebody stole the money out of the hiding place. What, the money? Now, why would anyone bother with two puppies? That's why Bessie was barking so. There's no snow, so there aren't any tracks around the woodshed. But they couldn't have got out. The door was shut. So there's no way of trailing the person who did it. Did anyone know the money was here, Dan? Pete Holt knew it. Hey, somebody stole those two cups of messies. They're gone. That's not all that's gone. Somebody stole the money out of the hiding place. What, the money? Now, why would anyone bother with two puppies? That's why Bessie was barking so. There's no snow, so there aren't any tracks around the woodshed. But they couldn't have got out. The door was shut. So there's no way of trailing the person who did it. Did anyone know the money was here, Dan? Pete Holt knew it. Mm. But he was at the party with us all night. We just left him and Jed about a half hour ago. It couldn't have been Peter Jed. If the thief had only left something behind, King could trail him. Well, he didn't. So what? I'll put King on Bessie's trail. Come on. We'll start at the woodshed where he can get her scent. I'll leave my horse here and put King on leash. One, King. Balmy Bill sat high up on the mountain trail beside a huge boulder called Ridge Rock. A soft wind. Let her go. There's only one thing we can do now. Uh, what? I'll put King on Bessie's trail. Come on. We'll start at the woodshed where he can get her scent. I'll leave my horse here and put King on leash. One, King. <laughs> Never you mind. People come. Trail beside a huge boulder called Ridge Rock. A soft wind played with his long gray hair as, smiling happily, he bent over the tiny, squirming pups that he held gently in his lap. Oh, no, don't cry like that. I, I guess maybe you were hungry. Never you mind. People come soon, and then I'll take you back to where I live and feed you. Oh, what's that? Why, it's, it's the mother dog. She followed us. Well, now, ain't that nice? She can give you some breakfast, huh? Hey, come on. Right here in this place back to the rock, okay? Yeah, now, never mind. I'm going to let you have your babies. <laughs> Bob got tired of waiting. He had to let people know we were going hunting. Somebody would suspect. There's a crazy old coot sitting back against the rock. Uh, I knew he'd be here. I hope he got the money. Hello, Bill. Huh? Oh, hello, boys. Did you bring the bag with you? Yes, I. Just, just like you said. Here it is. It's heavy. That's the bag, all right. Here, Ted. Tell you. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, some money, all right. Money? What money? D did you bring me the puppy? Where is he? You said you'd bring me a puppy. Did. did you ever look over the edge of the trail here? You can see the river. Oh, no, no, I don't like to look down there. It's so far down, it makes me feel funny. That's a bag, all right. Here, Ted, tell you. Yeah, you yeah, had some money, all right. Money? What money? Did, did you bring me the puppy? Where is he? You said you'd bring me Bill, a puppy. Did you ever look over the edge of the trail here? You can see the river. Oh, no, no, I don't like to look down there. It's so far down, it makes me feel funny. Where, where's the puppy? Come over here and look down. I'll hold on to you so you won't... Oh, no, no, I, I don't want to look over the edge. I won't go near it. Oh, yes, I will. Come no, on, no. get up. Come on, you. No, no, no please. Like... And tugged at the leash in his eagerness to go faster. Then suddenly the Mountie heard a cry around the bend of the trail ahead. That sounds like Balmy Bill. I can't get there fast enough, I'm afraid. Wait, King. I'll only show. Go ahead, fella. Get him, King. Stop him, boy. Like a flash of gray lightning, the huge dog sped up the mountain trail. As he rounded the bend, he saw Pete pulling and tugging at Balmy Bill, hitting the old man as he struggled to hold back. Come on, I can't help you. Get the dog. 
The great dog sprang at Pete, hurling him to the ground. Jed raised his gun. I'll get him. Get him, Kate. Stop him, boy. Like a flash of gray lightning, the huge dog sped up the mountain trail. As he rounded the bend, he saw Pete pulling and tugging at Balmy Bill, hitting the old man as he struggled to hold back. The great dog sprang at Pete, hurling him to the ground. Jed raised his gun. I'll get him, Pete. Sergeant. See if he's hurt badly, Dan. Yeah. All right, King. Back, fella. But watch him, boy. Get up, Pete. You're not hurt. You shot Jed in the arm, Preston. He's still alive. Oh. They were trying to throw me over the edge. He, he was trying to push me over. What are you doing here, Bill? They, they told me to get the bag food. The mother dog's giving them their breakfast. They're, they're beside the rock. All right, Bill. He's right, Sergeant. Yes, he's here for the two pups. Better bring them along, Dan. I'll have a look at Jed's arm. They, they didn't do what they said they would. Let's see your arm, oh, Jed. It wasn't my idea to murder Bill. Pete was the one that planned it. Shut up, you. Watch it, Pete. King's guarding you. You can walk, Jed. Get up. Come on. Here, here are the pups. They, they didn't bring their puppy. If these are yours, then I... Dan, I'll have a look at Jed's arm. They... They didn't do what they said they would. Let's see your arm, Jed. Oh, it wasn't my idea to murder Bill. Pete was the one that planned it. Shut up, you. Watch it, Pete. King's guarding you. You can walk, Jed. Get up. Come on. Here, here are the pups. They, they didn't bring me a puppy. If these are yours, then I won't have one. Now, You're going to get a puppy, Bill. You can have your choice of these two. Eh? It's all right with Sergeant Preston. You take your pick, Bill, and go on ahead with the puppy, Bessie. You be, we had to have some money. We were in That's a jam. That's enough out of you, Pete. You and Jed are under arrest for robbery and attempted murder. Just like Barnaby. Barnaby was little. I'm, I'm going to call you Barnaby. That was nice of you, Dan. Those are valuable pups. They're not as valuable as the money in this bag. Dan, we... We, we had to have some money. We were in That's a jam. That's enough out of you, Pete. You and Jed are under arrest for robbery and attempted murder. Get going. I'm taking you back to town. Watch them, King. Thanks to you, this case is closed. Without a father-in-law... In Willie Piper's case, it would probably be perfect bliss. Willie is the bashful, long-suffering hero of the Willie Piper Show, on the air every Thursday evening over most of these ABC stations. And his father-in-law is a domineering gent whose aim in life seems to be to keep Willie happy with his presence. The family frenzy started not too long ago, when Willie's father-in-law carried him over the threshold, and Willie protestingly peeped, Gee, I wish I had a mother-in-law. In short, Willie is a grocery clerk by trade, uh, and his father-in-law is a domineering gent whose aim in life seems to be to keep Willie happy with his presence. The family frenzy started not too long ago, when Willie's father-in-law carried him over the threshold, and Willie protestingly peeped, Gee, I wish I had a mother-in-law. In short, Willie is a grocery clerk by trade, a husband by intention, and a son-in-law by circumstance. Don't miss the tales of Willie Piper 